Hello, everybody. Dorothy Morgan here. Yes, I am a professional astrologer. Today, February 20th, 2022, it's one of those Stargate days, all the twos. So what do we do with those? That's a real energy like upgrade. So today, if you have the opportunity to spend some time, quiet time, to connect to your higher self, it's a lot of air energy present in the astrology of the day. Here, I'm going to uh, I'm just going right into this. Here we are. There's a lot of um, a lot of air energy. We've got a we've got a trine. <clears throat> excuse me, between the Moon and Saturn, and that is early this morning. However, this is a beautiful message. Even Mercury is also in Aquarius. So the energy of all of this, and for us who are Gemini's, there's like a grand trine in air. So I, the 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 point behind all of this is to um, spend some time alone, get into your meditation, your chanting, whatever you like to do, and ask those questions and let that channeling come through. All right. So that's a message, especially for anybody who is actually an air sign. You know, just by the element of air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And again, with the movement of the moon today in the sign of Libra, today is February 20th. And it's a Stargate day. Again, the numerologists absolutely love days like this. You know, one numerologist would tell me that it's all about, um, you know, the partnerships and the relationships. And another numerologist is about, it's about sitting back and sort of just, um, hanging on and just sort of waiting and seeing what's going to happen. So you'll decide which vibe feels best for you. Okay. All right. So what I like to do here too, I'm calling this my Mercury message, my daily Mercury message. Yeah. I use the Astro Dice. To, I've had these a while that the tin is beat up. It's a, it's a tin. And then we're going to throw a card. So let me roll the dice, even though I rolled them a minute ago. There's a lot going on here. The, all right, the lunar node finally showed up. The lunar node, this is the south node. So the lunar south node, again, the message of this is for us today. Maybe this message is for you. Maybe it's not. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Uh, the message of the south node is about what we know, where we've been, what we've done. It's our past. It's our past lives. It's the history that we, we are very familiar with. It's in the sign of cancer. So that means somebody or somebody's today could absolutely be falling back into an old pattern with family that you're potentially trying to move away from. <clears throat> and the area that it came up in would be the role of the dice talked about the 10th house and the 10th house is that role that you play. So that to me is what the South node in cancer in the 10th house represents energetically it's not where they are in the sky today. This is where that what they represent energetically. And again, so that is somebody here, whenever you're listening to this, has that message of going, you know, falling back into the old role that you play in the family. And again, with the South Node, that means we're moving away from that. So if you find yourself, how can I get out of this position? How can I get out of this caretaker mode? That's something you're gonna be looking at and thinking about today. All right. Now the elder card came up quite a few times when I was shuffling. Let's see if it comes up again. If it didn't, while I'm shuffling, the elder card in this deck, and this card just sort of popped out. That spirit of air. <laughs> you saw me do it. I didn't think it up. First off, the elder card is a card representing um, it's it's the image of a buck and deer. And it represents uh, being a leader and stepping into that elder position, stepping into the leadership role and taking charge. And how well does that go with the role of those dice? And then, of course, again, you just saw me pull this card. <clears throat> Let me hold it up a little higher. Spirit of air. First off, let's take those deep breaths, right? In four, out eight. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. Life is constant change. So what are we doing with this card? And what are we doing with this? It's just like we mentioned in the astrology, the moon's in an air sign, trine Saturn in an air sign. And if you're a Gemini, it's making a big grand trine. Again, I am. So I for sure will be 
receiving this message well and listening to what I hear today. I have some work to do, but other than that, I will, you know, really get into alignment with what is uh, for my highest and best and spend some time in nature. So I love that and bring in um, that message. So really listen and be open to that message. And if you're stuck in a certain thought process or a certain idea, make sure that you talk things out. And I said that because the talking stick card came up next. <clears throat> talk it out, take your turn to talk it out, but also make sure you take your turn to listen. That air energy, we, we are gathering and sharing of information, but we're also should be receiving, okay? Make sure we listen. People have things to say, and sometimes we don't always listen. We listen to make an answer. We don't listen to listen. So that could be another way to use that self-loading cancer in the 10th house as well. You have somebody to listen to today? I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Blessings. And um, namaste. And really, don't forget, comment below the video. Live stream's awesome. I'll be here live stream at 10 o'clock with this whole thing. And um, But make sure and click the thumbs up, comment, and share. YouTube needs that, apparently. <laughs> I don't pick it on YouTube. <clears throat> All right. Still looking for a house. Apartment. Take good care, guys. Bye.